I am always the ugliest guy in the group. First and foremost, try everything you can like grooming, gymming, getting lean, dermatologist and everything for a year and see if it has made a noticeable difference. If not then go to a plastic surgeon, we'll have to go to dozens and see what they recommend because these doctors feed on insecurities of patients and exaggerate so be very careful about it and develop some thick skin too. After the doctors have recommended the surgeries take some time to reflect on them and see if it's really worth it. Go ahead if you feel it will make a difference in your life. Most of the people in world are superficial and these things do make a difference in your life but please try the above before going to any plastic surgeon. These things will matter less in your late 30s though, but you can improve your 20s. We all are attracted to proportions. 70% of issues are resolved when proportions get okay. Lean and muscles are desirable for both men and women. It's a primary instinct. Work out, eat clean, shave, comb, dress well, smell good. It's only a process which yields surrealism. If you feel it's cosmetic for others, do it for yourself. And your face changes when the habits change. Ask those girls who lift. Do you think our celebrities are good looking? Take Thanush or Rajnikanth for example. Personality attracts people not looks. The more successful you are, the more people get attracted to you. Also, as you become more and more successful, you will dress better and gain confidence. Try to ignore such people and work on your skills. Your looks matter more to you, not that much to most others. As people grow and become more mature they realize that physical features are not important. Some, like those dumb females you mentioned, just take longer to mature. If you are unable to ignore such remarks, gain some muscle. Usually, a fit body looks appealing and makes you live long. I won't recommend any drastic option like surgery as many times they go wrong, and you would wish that you didn't go for them. Have a goal, like learning some skill which will improve your life, and work towards achieving that goal. Learn a few skills like dancing or guitar. Invest in yourself. Get in shape. Experiment with your hairstyle and or beard slash goatee. Wear nice clothes, always stay clean. And learn to love yourself. All this will boost your confidence. People are attracted to confidence. A lot of it is just noises that surprisingly have power over us. I had a tough time making friends in school because I was fat and bullied for it. I desperately tried to lose weight even though I was in an all-boys school. When I finally changed schools, I still couldn't make friends. So, I thought I'd learn new hobbies and skills, again to impress people. Finally, around your age I just fell in love more with myself in the sense I enjoyed my time and my head after I worked out all those empty unnecessary noises. I stopped doing cool things to impress other people. Rather I just lived life to be engaged with myself. I didn't need friends after all. I was just chasing what others have and thought that's what I needed. The armchair expert in me would tell you to watch the movie Wonder and get some life lessons. The practical advice though, focus on what you are good at and things which are in your control. There are many people who command and deserve respect by virtue of what they do irrespective of, or in some cases, in spite of how they look. Looks don't take you far, maybe a GF here, a one night stand there, although some folks might find it very fulfilling for them, focus on things which you find fulfilling and others will fall in place in your perception of the world. There was a time I went through a similar situation, I avoided taking photos because I didn't like how I looked in them but then I just thought it was me who was missing out on memories so at some point I just went this is who I am and I am gonna accept myself, I am enough and it quote psychological effect it did but slowly I don't jake myself as much when I look in the mirror. Every guy can be a 7, take care of your body, learn how to exercise, groom, create outfits, smell nice. And all of this is the shallow physical appearance part, I understand we as society are oppressed by beauty standards but in the end real connections don't happen with your face, I know having a good looking face allows you to have more chances to make a real connection just by proxy but yes, it's your core. Your beliefs, ambitions, love, hate. Try to be someone you are proud to be, body dysmorphia is linked with low self esteem, do things which make you feel needed. You are beautiful. P.S. Read up on body dysmorphia, visit a psychiatrist if you need some help unpacking it, it's a mental illness if it has started to affect your life. Take pictures for yourself and not for others. 
Your gallery or your social media account should be a celebration of your life and not what people expect you to be. I know it's hard with social anxiety and not being able to love yourself. It's a sad feeling that no one deserves to have. Just remember that any picture you take is a memory for your future and trust me your future self will not judge you on your appearance. The Western world is a really cruel place where so many greedy men and women profit from sexually stimulated young people by creating this idea that you have to look and pose in such a way to post on social media. You think you're ugly because the corporate world wants you to think you're. There was a time when I felt the same and deleted everything that was on my Facebook account, thinking that it was cringe. And I regret that decision to this day. I have lost so many precious memories because of it. And you shouldn't lose yours because of this flawed perspective by the world around you. Remembered an old Chinese proverb I read somewhere, you might be the sweetest peach in the tree, but not everybody loves peaches. Please don't validate yourself as how others perceive you. If you are facing anxiety and self-confidence issues, I would recommend you visit a counselor. You can consider plastic surgery if that can make your life better, life is too short to deprive you of something which you can get. And I am not saying this because I think you are ugly or anything like that, everything made by nature is beautiful, but the ground reality is that some faces are more aesthetically appealing and some are less, just like wealth and intelligence isn't fairly disturbed, beauty also isn't so if plastic surgery can make you feel better about yourself and make you more confident and improve your social standing, then why not? Given that you can afford it and please don't go to just any random plastic surgeon, not all are good. If you ever decide to consult a plastic surgeon, you can Google Rahul Gogoi Plastic Surgeon Gubahati, he is skilled and also charges affordably my best wishes for you OP and Yappy personality is a total game changer, be confident and own every bit of you proudly. P.S. I am sure you are a beautiful human, don't let any ugly hearted jerk make you feel otherwise. People talk about looks only till their early 20s. Females age badly as they approach their 30s. And males start to lose their hair. Most people become insecure about their looks after the age of 25. You are not ugly, you are just ahead of the curve. How weird your face looks are always not as important as how your personality is and treat others, especially females. The way you dress, smell, your thoughts and talk matter way much more. As a girl with more than a fair share of dating around, I know when I say girls tend to hang around with guys who make them feel hard and safe. The feeling of being ugly goes away as you grow older, so hang in there for 5 to 6 years. Work on other things that you can control. Get good at your job and learn to speak well. Eat well, sleep well, exercise regularly, it's really that simple, but many people don't do it. Never judge or hate anyone for not liking you. Never turn bitter. As you grow older and wiser, people will come to you. You'll receive love and things will work out. You are just 23. Gradually with age, you and the people you know will start caring more about character and other aspects like how you speak, how you behave etc. than external looks. This may sound dramatic. But believe me it happened to me also. I feel you brother. I am 27 years old. Never been confident with how I look. Add to that I'm 5 feet 6 inches and at 27 my hair has started graying rapidly. This has further hurt whatever confidence I had left. All I have currently is an inferior complex. I always feel inferior to everyone. This has resulted me in never approaching a girl. Anytime I feel like I should approach a girl, I instantly reject myself before even doing anything. It's a pretty sad condition. Conan O'Brien had the same problem. He was extremely pale and ginger, which normally will get you bullied in the West. He decided that the only way he could differentiate himself was his personality. The rest is history. I used to be in the same place you are in. But somewhere along the line I started to get interested in clothes and fashion. I decided to experiment with it a bit. Started exercising regularly to look better in those clothes and just started loving the progress. I went from being the unattractive one in the group to being the best dressed one in the group. Still have the face of a Neanderthal, but a well-dressed one. Hope this helps. Hey everyone, can look good, I relate to being ugliest, try different outfits and hairstyles, since you are already ugly you have nothing to lose, but this trial error will teach you how to look good. 
The whole problem here is your view on it. Stop viewing yourself as inferior to anyone. Worry about things that are in your control. Start respecting yourself and build confidence in yourself. None of the other comments solve the problem. The problem is that your face is not proportional. Solution, go to Korea and get plastic surgery and make it proportional. Thousands of people get it done every year. Here is the truth, there is little control on genetics, but you can build a personality, and that's what matters as I have personally seen many people who attract and retain partners. So, what you are blessed with the brain. Use it to the fullest and get your job done. Don't worry. Most people look ugly after the age of 30. LOL. A little grooming goes a long way. Dress well, smell nice and keep clean hands. Just go to gym man. Weight loss does wonders. Finally, bro. You are not ugly, you are just poor. Get in shape and build a personality. Don't seek external validation. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. The Internet Surfer on YouTube for more horror and scary stories.